Hi, thank you for joining us on this week's edition of Community Spotlight. I'm Joel Lopez, and we're really excited to have a couple members from Bay Street Players. We have Max Herskovitz, Meredith Pugh, and Sarah Gray. All right, so tell us a little bit more about what you guys do, what's coming up with the theater. Well, um, we have a show that's coming up at the theater called Legally Blonde the Musical. Yeah. And we are all so very excited to be a part of it. Um, I am, I play Margot, I'm part of the Greek chorus, I'm Elle's best, one of Elle's best friends. And I am also the costume designer for the show. Um, Margot, she's kind of the boy crazy, I don't want to say dumb blonde, but she's a little bit dizzy and so it's just been a nice, fun um, role to play and you just get to go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Meredith and I play Elle Woods in the show and um, Elle is this naive girl who's just in her own little world and she really is smart but she just doesn't really apply herself until she gets to Harvard Law School and um, starts working hard and finding out that she has to prove herself in order to get people to see her other than this like dumb blonde. So it's been fun playing her and I just I just look up to her character so much. I think she's so inspirational, not just to women but to everybody. So cool. Hey, um, uh, I'm Max. I play Emmett Forrest. He is a recently licensed attorney. He is um, a TA in a, another professor's class. Um, and so he meets Elle as she starts her journey at Harvard Law to try and uh, win back her former boyfriend. Former boyfriend, nailed it. Um, and he is just, uh, he's, he's obviously a good person. He's just kind of rough around the edges. He's had a difficult childhood. He's had to work twice as hard as, as any of the other kids that he sees around them, around him that have obviously, you know, had mom and dad's help or they've caught some kind of lucky break and he's working multiple jobs to put himself through law school and, and hoping for scholarships and stuff like that. So he meets Elle and he sees what everyone else sees in her, which is she's spoiled rotten, she's not very smart, she's not here for the right reasons, and I work so hard to be here, why is that her attitude? And he slowly realizes over the course of the show that, you know, not only is she a wonderful person who positively affects the lives of the people around her, she's also brilliant, um, and she's the only thing holding herself back. So it's very much like um, a mutually beneficial relationship where he's saying, look, you can be smart and be these other things and still be a good person and she's saying to him you don't have to hold a grudge against everyone that you meet just because you had it hard so um, but yeah it's been a wonderful experience it's a wonderful role um, the women sitting to my left and our entire cast and crew our director um, just incredible people it's an incredible theater and, and, and we're having a whole lot of fun mm -hmm. cool so how did you guys get involved in the theater um, I did my first show ever um, about four years ago. It was a summer show at Bay Street, Fairly Modern Millie, and then it's kind of become a tradition that every summer I come back and I do a summer show. And so, like, this is my fourth summer, and I still love it. It's just kind of a nice escape, and it's a phenomenal facility to work at. I love the cast and the crew and everybody who goes into making this production happen. With all my heart, I mean, it just, they make the time that you spend, which is a lot of time, <laughs> really worthwhile. It's fantastic. Well, I came to Bay Street last year. I didn't do a whole lot of community theater, so I was researching and just looking around the web, and I saw that they were doing Hairspray. And Hairspray was the first production that I'd ever seen. I saw it at the Bob Carr, it was my first show, and it was really, really special to me, and I always wanted to be a part of it. So I was like, this is like my opportunity to go and do this show. So it was just a wonderful experience, and the people are so great, it's so warm there, and I'm really happy to be back. Absolutely. Um, I, I'm, I'm sad that this is my first production here at Bay Street. Um, there's not, uh, I'm, I'm, at, I'm in school at, at UCF, so there's not a whole lot of time during the course of the semester to, mm -hmm. you know, get to really enjoy something that's not like your career. Um, so it's wonderful to have time over the summer and, you know, I, I've done a fair amount of, of summer productions and I, I haven't found somewhere that feels quite like home the way that Bay Street Theater feels 
as a space and especially considering the cast and the crew and the, the creative forces behind the show. Um, not only do I think it's going to be a great show, I also am genuinely excited to come to the theater and to see these people and to know that we're going to be, you know, taking this journey together and, and you know, I just, it's a very safe place to be. Awesome. So for the viewers that are wanting to um, see Legally Blonde, when can they expect to see it? Um, we open this Friday, June 27th, and we run for a month, July uh, 20th. Typically, we have shows Friday, Saturday, and a Sunday matinee, and then there are a few um, Thursday shows thrown in there and a Wednesday as well. Um, you can buy tickets online at www.baystreetplayers.org or over the phone um, in the box office, 352-357-7777. Um, box office hours are 1 to 6, Monday through Friday, and then 11 to 3 on performance, uh, Saturdays on performance weekends. All right, and there's also group rates, I understand, correct? Yes, we are in the process of not only um, we have our season subscriptions on sale, but we have group rates where if you bring 15 people, then your tickets become $15. Ticket prices in general, um, Wednesday, Thursday shows, they're $18 for adults, and then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday matinees are $21 and students are $11 with an ID. Awesome. And now, the theater has been around for quite a while. I understand this is your 40th year? Yes, we are embarking on our 40th season anniversary. Um, we start off our season with I Love You, You're Perfect, Now Change, a musical. Then we go into a good old fashioned redneck country Christmas. And then Andrew Lloyd Webber's rock opera, Jesus Christ Superstar. Um, Neil Simon's farce rumors and then we close out our season with Hello Dolly and Hello Dolly was our inaugural show 40 years ago when a group of local actors founded the theater. Um, it, originally the State Theater was built in the 1920s as a movie theater and then some years later this group of founders they renovated the theater and it's been a community stage ever since. Awesome well thank you very much. And if you have any more questions about the theater, go ahead and check out their website. And if there's any story that you'd like us to feature here on Community Spotlight, check us out at lakefronttv.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you again soon.